welcome back. So today I'm going to be giving my dining room a facelift. So if you guys are interested in seeing some of the DIYs that I'm going to be doing today, just keep on watching. First I'll be taking this mirror down and taking it out to the garage and spray painting it gold. Here you see me just adding some hot glue but guys I really do recommend that you use a stronger glue for this DIY I'm only using hot glue because that's all that I had on hand but I really wish that I had something a little bit stronger because I had to use a lot of hot glue for this DIY so for this DIY I'm gonna be using half inch by 3 8 molding from Lowe's now I should have done this before I spray painted it so just keep that in mind when you guys are doing this you probably want to do this beforehand so that you don't have to go back and repaint everything. If you haven't already go ahead and subscribe to my channel as well as hitting the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. Now I'll be going back in with my fine glitter Mod Podge mixture and I'll be using the color Champagne Gold. With a brush, I'm just going to go ahead and paint that mixture onto my mirror. Now this is a process that you can definitely skip if you would like to, but I like the fancy glittery look so I'm going to go ahead and glam it out. Next I'm going to be going in with this crushed glass and it is a tinted color, kind of like a golden color and I picked it up from Michaels as well as this Mod Podge and this is the hard coat kind. fork I'm just spreading out the glass so that it covers the entire mirror I let it sit for 24 hours then I went back through with more of that hard coat Mod Podge Adding more of the vase filler in spots that I missed the first time around. And now I'm just going to let it dry for a little while while I repair my wall. So the wall that I'm going to be hanging this mirror back on had some imperfections on it and I just wanted to touch it up so I had my husband to plaster it for me and to just paint over with the leftover paint that we already had. And if anyone is interested this paint is called Lindhurst Mushroom and you can find it at Home Depot.
next DIY, I'm going to be using this leftover quick tube that I had already, and it is from Home Depot. I'm going to take it out to the garage to spray paint, and I'll be spray painting it gold. I had this old Yankee Candle box on hand, and I'm going to be using this to create a bottom for my centerpiece. Now I'm just going to finish cutting it out and then I'm going to glue it down with hot glue. Gorgeous blinged out stickers from Hobby Lobby a few months back. Next, I'll be going in with these clear beads that I picked up from Michaels. With a brush, I'm just going to paint on some Mod Podge. working in section. Once I've completed one section, I'm just going to rotate the vase around until it's complete.
just gonna let it dry for a little while and while I'm doing that I'm going to begin to dress my table I picked up this gorgeous table runner from Amazon to place a rug under my table and this one is from Burlington Coat Factory and it was super inexpensive doing to this room is replace the light fixture in our entryway and I found this gorgeous crystal chandelier style light fixture from Amazon and I was able to get this one on discount because because it was an open box item and so here's what it looks like guys have enjoyed this little video if you have don't forget to subscribe you guys enjoy yourselves during this quarantine period don't get down keep your heads up keep going things are going to work out and I'll see you guys next time